what's up my youtube friends how y'all doing i hope y'all all have any blessed day welcome or welcome back to my channel y'all thank y'all so much for tuning in if you are new to my channel welcome my name is momo i love to do nails anything that's nail related i love to do and if those are the type of videos that you like to watch then guess what honey you are in the right channel so please do me that favor right and hit that subscribe button for me and your post notification bell onto all so like that you get notified every time i upload these nail videos you like to watch and become my youtube friend i I would love to have you here okay so with that being said y'all let's get right into this video welcome to all channel. all right y'all so getting into this video y'all in today's video i'm doing my other niece nails this is my other niece with the ski jump nail beds. <laughs> yeah, she asked me if I could do her nails for her first day of school. So I decided to do her nails. Why not? I'll be bored. And yeah, and then I have a model to do nails on. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, y'all. So this is my niece with the ski jump nails, y'all. Um, I'm so freaking irked because the nail tips that I used on her were the straight, um, you know, the straight square nail tips. For her type of nail beds, y'all, I like to use the slightly curved nail tips. So like that, they won't look like they sticking up right along with her natural nails um, and stuff like that, y'all. Because um, if you don't know, if you know, whatever, um, people with ski jump nail beds, y'all, their free edge uh, tend to grow going upwards. Like they looking up <laughs> instead of looking down, you know what I mean? Or going straight or growing out straight, you know what I mean? So when you have those type of clients or whatever, you know, they have those type of nail beds. Usually it's good to go in with a slightly curved nail. So when you apply to their nail tip, it won't look like the, the nail tip won't look like it's going upwards. You know what I mean? It'll look like it's going either straight or facing downwards just a little bit you know what i mean because you can always even if it's facing downwards a little bit like with that slightly curved going you know tilting downwards you can always file underneath that nail um tip and make it look like sh you know make it look straight if that makes sense you know what i mean so yeah um i, I totally forgot that i usually use those type of nail tips on her and i went in with these nail tips y'all but they didn't look bad so yeah because usually when i use tips like this that are straight you know um straight nail tips her nail you know most of the time they, they look like they when i apply them to the nail they are going you know they look like they're facing up right along with her natural nails okay y'all so yeah but thank god that they did they, they didn't look bad at all okay so now i'm going in to cut her nail tips y'all and as you can see that the magnets i do got them on top of the nail cutter so i can measure each nail from cuticle to cuticle if um if you know if you ever did this hack before you know usually we do it the other way around where the magnet where the magnets are underneath the nail tips and then we cut each nail like that and measure the each nail like that with the magnet being underneath the nail but this time i decided to do it this way because i seen this hack from somewhere y'all i cannot remember from where i don't know if it was one of my youtube sisters here on youtube that had mentioned this hack or you know um you know that had brought this you know they mentioned this on their video y'all i cannot remember or i've seen it on tiktok or something like that i cannot remember but if it was you one of my nail sisters here that watches my videos if it was you and i commented on your on your video when you did this and and then and if i said oh i gotta try that hack then yeah then i got it from you okay so um let me know in the comments that it was you that showed us this hack okay that you showed it in your video <laughs> all right y'all so um i said you know what yeah i want to do this i want to do it you know i want to try this way to see and y'all when i did it this way i didn't i didn't even go back and measure each nail to see if they were each 
you know to check if it came out right you know to i didn't go back and check if all the nails came out the same size you know what i mean so i just went ahead i just went ahead and just cut each nail and then it, i and then i didn't even check to see like if that had worked or not you know what i mean because <laughs> i never checked each nail <laughs> so anyway y'all so right here um as y'all can see that i did had a couple nudes out um i thought she wanted to go in with some nudes but when she showed me the picture um there was no nude in this picture she did show me an inspo pic and there was no nude at all so i am going in with this gray nice beautiful gray color y'all from not polish i think it's called priority yeah so we're gonna go in with that color but before that i am going in with some clear a little bit of clear acrylic y'all from nail mate crystal clears acrylic and i'm just gonna apply a very thin layer onto her natural nails um i like to do this um after i apply the protein bond because um to me the nails last a little longer when i do this and yeah and then also i'm going in to apply a colored acrylic on top of it you know what i mean so now we're going to go in with a little soda break and you know drink something because we were thirsty as hell so <laughs> and then now we're gonna get back to this acrylic application so yeah like i said i'm using priority from not polish y'all i'll leave the link in the description box below if i remember i'll leave it down in the below if y'all want to go check that acrylic out y'all listen i haven't used not polished acrylic in a while y'all and i be forgetting how freaking good not polished acrylics are y'all like they are so freaking good like when i was using this acrylic I, I was like oh my god like this is not even getting stuck to my brush it's going on nice and smooth and creamy and all that good stuff y'all so yeah so what i'm gonna do y'all is apply this acrylic onto all the nails it's nothing different it's everything is going to be all the nails are going to be all this all one color y'all so it's going to be this one color throughout the whole acrylic application or through out the rest of the nails <laughs> oh my god listen i'm gonna keep saying this i'm gonna keep saying this and i don't care um um like i'm not i like if you're new to my channel please bear with me okay y'all i do not explain things really really well okay so if you're new here and you're wondering why i'm talking like this it's because i do stutter a little bit you know that's what i get for busting on my brother-in-law okay and um yo this uh, i got everything connected to alexa and this bitch let me know about every little thing that goes on in this fucking house and she's getting on my nerves i'm about to freaking turn all these notifications off um anyway so yeah i'm not very i'm not very good at explaining things y'all and and i do stutter here and there you know what i mean because i try i tend to try to talk fast and not only that it's like i feel like there's like two three words that want to come out at the same time and i get tongue twisted <laughs> and sometimes i feel like i'm saying like two words in one word <laughs> oh my god y'all i am the freaking worst anyway all right so if y'all want to sit here and chill and relax and watch this acrylic application this satisfying satisfying acrylic application i'm gonna let y'all be i'm gonna leave y'all here so y'all can finish watching me apply this acrylic watch me work and all that good stuff y'all so again you know just chill relax fall back and you know and watch this video let me know what you think don't forget to smash this um the like button for me if you enjoy these type of videos you know you enjoy um this acrylic application and all that good stuff don't forget to hit that like button for me like i will wait right now for like two seconds just to hit that like button for me really really quick okay subscribe if y'all have not done so yet i would love to have you here with me y'all and comment down below what you think because you already know i would love to know your thoughts okay y'all so thank you so much for tuning in y'all don't forget to turn on your post notifications on to your bell on to all so that you get notified on future videos i have a lot more watch me work videos coming up a big 
big haul coming up and room tours and acrylic brushes videos and all that good stuff okay y'all so stay tuned in so like i said sit back and relax watch this video and i'll be back later on okay y'all bye
Alright y'all, so now it's time to encapsulate the nails. Yo, y'all, to be honest, I don't know what the hell happened. Uh, my phone just like shut up out of nowhere. So I'm only encapsulating two nails in this clip of the video. So yeah, so for those that don't care, then good for you. And for those that do care, sorry. Okay? <laughs> Yeah, I'm only going to be encapsulating two nails right here, y'all. So, I, I really don't know what the hell happened. All I know, when I looked up at the phone, that shit was black. So, right here, um, I'm going to show you when the nails are all nice and cap encapsulated after this clip right here. And then, we're going to go start filing the nails, y'all. I'm going to use this uh, metal. Um, metal. Oh, my God. I don't The metal stick and with the peeling stick. That I got from, um, I think this one I got it from AliExpress, y'all. So, oh, wait, no. Oh, I used that. No, okay, I used the metal one later on. But I'm using this 80 80 um, grip, hand grip from Panna, y'all. And right here, I'm just going to reshape the nails, y'all, each sidewall and the free edge of the nails before I go in with the um, e file. Sometimes, listen, y'all, like I said, like sometimes you might see me do things one way in another video you might see me do something another way so this time i'm going in with the hand file first like sometimes you might see me going with the hand file first and sometimes you might see me going with the um e-file first so this time i decided to go in with the hand file first i'm just going to you know reshape you know each nail bring it back to the you know to the nice crisp square shape and then once I do this, y'all, then I'm going to go in with my e-file. And I'm going to use the extra fine e-file carbide bit, y'all. And when I was on the, like, on the second or third nail, I realized, I was like, mm. I decided to change out the drill bit to a sanding band. I was like, yeah, let me try, let me do, because usually... When I okay, some, usually what I like to do is use the um, carbide bit first, and then go in with the sanding band. But this time, um, I decided to switch up and use the sanding band first, and then go in with the carbide bit. You know what I mean? I did go in with the carbide bit first, and as y'all can see right here, then I'm going in with the carbide bit and you know to go around the cuticle of the area to seal that up really really well i could have used another um cuticle you know a smaller bit that i got to go around the cuticle area to do that but i decided to use this this one is an extra fine y'all so i'm not really um debulking too much with this um just going you know trying to get the nails nice and even and you know that's about it that's all i'm doing with this just to get the nails nice and even and smooth and when i got to the ring nail or the middle nail i think it was i decided to switch out and go in with a sanding band um i don't know what got into me i was like let me do a sanding band first because um because i i guess because i started to look at the nails y'all and i noticed that i didn't have to do too much fouling you know i guess that's probably why i switched up but then again but after the sanding band i go back in with the um the carbide bit the, this extra fine carbide bit that you see me using to smooth out all the ridges that the sanding band did so i was like when i'm looking at this video i'm like this don't even like what the hell am i doing y'all like i'm doing too much filing like i'm doing too much extra shit that i didn't i that i did not have to do I could have just went in with this. To be honest, y'all, I could have just stood with this card by bit and did the whole nails with this card by bit. And that's about it. I didn't have to go in with no sanding band or anything like that. But you know why? I, uh, Yeah. But you know why I like using the sanding band, y'all? Because the sanding band, I, I like the way it leaves the nails. Like, it leaves the nails, like, all looking like it's filed, filed. You know what I mean? Like, at least the, the surface of the whole nail tip, like, if it's filed. You know how when you go in with the hand file 
and you start hand filing the whole nail with the hand file and you see all that white or that you know the whole nail nice and matte and you know that it's nice evenly filed well it's the same thing where they say any bang y'all it's just you know you're not doing it manually you're doing it electronically <laughs> So I could have did I could have used either or and just left it like that. I could have just went in with this carbide bit, did the whole nails with this, cause the this carbide bit, since it's an extra fine carbide bit, it did leave the nails, you know, looking nice and smooth and buff. But then the sanding band, it left it like that, you know, like that matte look. You know what I mean? Like that foully matte look. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so I could have just used that if I wanted to and then left it like that and then buffed the nails with a buffer afterwards You know what I mean? So right here you see me going with the sanding band Yeah, yeah, y'all so I, I I don't know what the hell I was thinking when when I was filing these nails So anyway, so that's what y'all gonna see me do here y'all after this uh, filing process I do go in with a um, Another card by oh, no, no, no. I do go in with a diamond bit cuticle to go around the cuticle area with a coarse diamond tapered bit okay that um coarse tapered diamond bit y'all i did get from erica's manicure um yeah i really really love her diamond bits y'all because they like really really good quality and and since it's coarse it's good to go around um that a cuticle area after you're done your enhancements like whatever enhancements you do like gel acrylic or even uh gel x like, y'all um if you need to go around and see around the cuticle area and you don't need to do too too much i will use like a one of those diamond bits but in course so like that you know because mind you it's product and then a diamond bit is you know it's more on a smoother side you know what i mean it don't have any teeth in it like grits in it or anything like that it's more on a smoother surface should i say you know if that makes sense whatever whatever you know what i mean and you won't be debulking as much just moving so i do go in like i say with a coarse diamond you know bit to go around the cuticle area and also if you got and also you it makes the area that cuticle area nice and, and exfoliated also because like let's say if you have a little bit of product that you might have got on top of around the cuticle or, or, or on top of the skin or whatever that can take it away or exfoliate all that away from around the skin also you know so it's also it's going to give it like that nice clean look cuticle work you know what i mean like that nice cuticle look work you know what i mean I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say, y'all. So that's the reason why I, you know, sometimes like to go in with a diamond bit around the cuticle area on top of my enhancements. Like on top of, of a, you know, after I'm done the acrylic application. Just to get that nice and sealed and, you know, looking not really, really sealed because I'm sealing it with the carbide bit. But, you know, to make it look more nice and clean. You know, like I did, like, like if I did like a good cuticle work. You know what I mean? So yeah, y'all, so you're going to see that right here coming up. And yeah, so I'm going to leave y'all right here to it. And then, um, so we're going to come back and we're going to start decorating the nails later on.
all right y'all so now i'm going in with shiny top coat from dream nail supplies y'all jerry marie here on youtube if y'all have not checked out her products y'all should check them out uh, she got really really good acrylics y'all and i love her sh um, shiny top coat i'll if i remember I'll, I'll leave the description box below her link to the website in the description box below or i'll put it right here in the screen for y'all so y'all could go and check it out if y'all would like to but right here i'm just applying shiny top coat onto all the nails once i do this i go back to all the nails and re swipe all the nails making sure it is not getting all you know bulkied up around the free edge of the nail so it won't look all you know bulked up around you know the free edge of the nails and all that stuff so after i do this you're going to cure it for 60 seconds okay y'all so once we do all this we're going to go ahead and do the nail design so the nail design she like i said she did show me an inspo pig y'all and um it's the crisscross um look um i don't i don't know what what this design is called i don't know if it's a course corset look um i don't know to be honest i do not know what they call this type of design but i know it's the crisscross look with the bow in the middle so i am using this white liner gel y'all um this white liner gel i don't ah man i think it's from um profile backstage if i'm not mistaken i think this is the white liner from profile backstage so right here i'm just doing that double crisscross look and yeah so i'm gonna do this onto all the nails okay y'all and then um but the inspo pick that she showed me y'all was um white bows on each nails so while i was doing this she switched up and said you know she switched it up and put black and white bows so some nails are going to be with white bows and some nails are going to be with black bows i'm not going to show you all me doing this crisscross look onto all the nails because it's the same thing um i'm just going to show y'all right here with two nails y'all and and i looking back at the nails i wish i would have did you know i don't know if it would have looked right y'all but i'm thinking i should have done like whatever bows i put whatever nails that i put the black bows on i should have did those lines black and you know and then whatever nails that the white bows was on you know leave it with the white lines if that makes sense you know like white lines with the white bow black lines with the black bow if that makes sense you know what i mean so that's what i'm thinking i should have done i don't know if that would have looked right or not but in my mind i'm picturing it and it i'm thinking this, <laughs> in my mind it's telling me it look right but you know you gotta visualize it and look at it to see if it really gonna look good or not but yeah but anyway so it is what it is we did it this way this is what she wanted and this is what she got okay so right here i'm just gonna use builder gel and rhinestone glue to adhere these bows y'all i forget to buff out the back of these bows everyone had the last time i used these bows a couple people commented and said to buff out the back of these bows so like that they can have some grip so they can last longer you know what i mean and have you know and the gel can have something to grip onto and i keep forgetting you know how many sets i did with all my nieces this type of look with basically with all my nieces and i forgot to do that to each and every one of them to buff out the back of the bows yep but anyway, y'all, so this is how the nails are going to turn out. This is how it's going to look. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Because you already know, y'all, I would love to know your thoughts. Let me know if we would have did the black bows with the black lines. And, you know, the white bows with the white lines. Or it looks okay just like that. You Do you think it would have looked, you know, nice with the black lines or not? Yeah, let me know what you think, y'all. The only thing that I would have done different was I probably would have did the lines a little bit down more so you could see the double cross look better because I am covering the one cross look with the bows. You know what I mean? So yeah, y'all. Um, um, don't forget to smash that like button for me, y'all. And, and subscribe if you have not done so yet. I would love for you to be my YouTube friend. I would love to have you here in my nail journey and all that good stuff. Okay, y'all? 
Um, so with that being said, I'm going to let y'all be. I'm going to let y'all go. So thank y'all so, so much, y'all, for tuning in, for clicking on this video and watching through. I really, 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 really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So don't you ever, ever forget, y'all, that you are blessed by the best. So always stay blessed, y'all. Be safe and please come back again. I love y'all. Bye. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.